July 11 to July 17, 2022. During the period, the following developments have taken place in the theater of operations. In the Kharkov sector, the number of conflicts between different Ukrainian units has been increasing. Recently over 200 personnel of the Nazi unit known as Kraken, refused to follow the order to deploy from Kharkov to Donbass. Six Kraken Nazis were killed in the resulting firefight with their comrades. In Kharkov, Russian troops struck the Kartron factory. The location served as a base of the British and Polish mercenaries whose mission was covered in sabotage operations. In the Slavyansk sector, the front line is gradually advancing towards the city. The Ukrainian troops are firing from the positions on top of the commanding height named Mount Karachun. Russian artillery destroyed an ammunition and combat materiel depot at the ceramics factory near the mount. In the Donetsk-Lugansk sector, Russian troops advanced towards the town of Seversk pushing the Ukrainians out of the village of Verknikomenskoy. According to the latest information, Russian forward units have reached the town limits. Ukrainian troops have also suffered a defeat near the town of Soledar, which allowed Russian troops to approach the eastern part of the town. The Lugansk People's Republic fighters have acquired their first copy of the American M777 howitzer. The British mercenary Aidan Aslan who had been condemned to death in the Donetsk People's Republic court showed his newly acquired appreciation of the Russian culture and happily sang the Russian national anthem. Hail to our free fatherland! The Kiev regime has employed a new terrorist tactics. In the vicinity and inside the town of Yasin Novatayat, the Ukrainian rocket artillery systems fire cluster munitions filled with the Lepe stock, translation, pedal, miniature anti-personnel landmines. The mines really look like tree leaves. If you step on such pedal, your foot will be torn off. Local residents are more likely than anyone to be affected. Dmitry Shevchenko, the town's mayor has issued a warning to the population. This mine is of green color, and it is no bigger than a human palm. It may be easily concealed among tree leaves. Be very careful, please. The Russian hacker group known as Rodit who recently publicized information about over 2,500 Ukrainian military intelligence personnel, stated that they came into possession of the data pointing to at least 50 to 70,000 casualties among the Ukrainian troops. The Ukrainian army has sustained at least 50 to 70,000 casualties. Poland is transferring several dozens of the PT-92 tanks to the Ukraine. These tanks are a modernized version of the Soviet T-72 tank. Warsaw will receive American M1 Abrams tanks as a replacement.